and uh, I will share my screen with you and we'll start to um, correct the homework. Now, uh, before I start, please guys, uh, I would like you from now on to upload your homework and I will be checking that you're uploading uh, starting tomorrow because I am going to uh, put marks and I'm going to start with uh, some small quizzes. So I, I want to make sure that everybody uh, knows how to upload because I'm going to give you a time, a short time to upload because it's a quiz. Okay, now, as usual, we're going to agree on the signs. I would like you please, Lynn, are you with me? I would like you please to um, raise your hand if you want a question. Because when I, uh, no, no, yeah, okay. And write me uh, something on chat. I will be reading chat from time to time. And I want someone to remind me to check chat because when i share my uh, uh, my screen i don't uh, see you see all of you okay now uh, hadi okay i can see you okay now uh, lynn stop laughing miss thank you habibte yeah we start i'm going to share my screen we're going to collect the homework that uh, collect the homework, uh, correct the homework. Before that, I'm going to read the chat. Uh, what should I pause on the Google uh, on the Google Classroom? You want me to pause the recording? I will be uh, giving you the recording. Yes. And um, okay, Emma, you can. Although I would like to see your face. Okay, I'm adding all those that have their proper name written. Other than that, I'm not adding anyone. Okay, Lynn, fine. I'm sorry, I thought you were. Okay, Habibte. Okay, so I'm going to start. We have homework, uh, page, page seven, number eight and nine. I'm going to start with that. Uh, number eight. 120 can be written as a product of its prime factors in the form of two to the M times N times P, work out M, N and P. So I usually do the decomposition in this manner. If you, if you uh, feel better using the tree, I'm okay with that, but this is a, a much easier and systematic method. So I start with two because two is a prime factor of 120. So 12 divided by two is six and we put the zero down. And then an another two, it's 30. And another two, it's 15. I can't divide by two anymore. 15 divided by three is five. And five, then it's a one. So 120 is written as two to the three times three times five. So two to the M times N times P, where M is three, N is three and P is five. Before I continue, I would like to see if anyone has any question or everything is okay. No comment. I continue. Okay. Number nine. In number nine, 
we want to find the highest common factor and the least common multiple for these pairs. In order to find the, the highest common multiple and least common factor, we need to decompose these into prime factors. So 24, part A, 24 is written as 4 times 3. So I'm trying uh, 4 times 8. Uh, 24 is written as 2 times 12. And 12 is written as 2 times 6. So now we can decompose 6 into 2 times 3. Therefore, 24 is equal to 2 to the 3 times 3. Now, if somebody is asking them, if someone is asking themselves, why didn't she do this method? I'm just trying to cover as many uh, as many ways and methods as possible. I will come back to this method again. I try to do this and sometimes I'm going to try to do the tree. Uh, we're still in part A and I'm going now to decompose 30. 30 is written as 3 times 10 and uh, 3 times 2 times 5. So 30 is written as three times, two times five, and these are the prime factorization of uh, 30. Now I need to find the highest common factor. So I need to, to choose the common, common factors, it's two, the least exponent, it's one, times also three and three are common, Come in it to the one five. I don't write it because it's not common. Lowest common multiple. I write all the factors found in both, even the ones that are not common. And I choose the highest exponent. So two to the three, three to the one, and five to the one. So this is how I'm going to do the rest of the numbers. Okay, I'm, I need to see if there's any question. Can you tell me if there's any question? Or is it clear? Yes, please, you write on the red copy book, which is for me. What do you mean by glitchy, Lev? Just, uh, uh, Lev, I'm sharing my screen, so I, uh, okay, fine, good. And there's another question he here that I need to answer. Yes, you write and correct on the same co uh, copy book. Yes, we can do it in a different way. I just said that. What, what do you mean by two to the M? Now, two to the M is what they wrote for me, okay? They want, the question is, find M, and they already wrote 2 to the M. This is why I wrote it here, okay? I will only admit you if you have the right format for your name. We are going to continue. Part B, I'm going to change the color. So part B, 20 is written as four times five, which is two to the two times five. 42 is written as six times eight. 
Is that right? It seems that I'm talking to myself and I don't like that. Is this right? Six times eight is, 48, is 42. Did I, did I give an... Okay, can you unmute yourself, people? Guys, we are not allowed to unmute ourselves. Tabia, Sawene, one second. It's okay if you wrote it differently. Yes, Lynn, you're right. So you are with me, guys. Okay, fine. One second, I will finish this and then I will unmute you. So it is six times seven. Someone wrote it for me, very good. So you are with, most of you are with me, it's excellent. So 42 is written as three. Three times two times seven. So this is 42. Now I need to take these and write the highest common factor. Common is two and that's it, lowest exponent. Therefore, the answer is going to be two. One second, I need to admit people that are still in the waiting room. I don't know why I'm still having people in the waiting room. Okay. Are you up? So actually you can unmute yourselves guys. So if I, I look at everyone publicly and privately can chat. Okay. So now you, are, you can only chat with the host and I will check for the allow to unmute yourselves so that I can have some participation with you. Now, okay, yeah, we start again. There is no such thing as LCF, guys. It's LCM, lowest common multiple and highest common factor, okay? Now I, I have given you the permission to unmute yourself, so please talk to me. I'm going back to sharing the screen. So this is the exercise. The lowest common multiple is equal to all of the numbers that are found in 20 and in 42. So it is two, times three times five times seven. Now we choose the highest exponent. It means it's three to the two, three to the two times three times five times seven. Okay? Part C. I know I have an unstable Wi-Fi. It's okay, bear with me, guys. Okay, we continue. Part C, it's eight and 18. So eight is written as two to the three. So this is two to the three. Two to the three is eight. And 18 is equal to three times six, where three can be written or nine times two, which is three to the two times two. 
So now I need the highest common factor, highest common factor. It's equal to two times, and that's it, two, because eight has two and 18 has this. So the common number is two. And the lowest common multiple is two times three. They are not common, but you write them all. And now you write the highest exponent. Okay. Uh, Yara, please don't write on my screen. Is it possible? Okay, I will give you the answers for the rest of the numbers. Uh, now, so please correct your, uh, your part. Part uh, D, the highest common factor is three times five, and the lowest common multiple is three to the two, three to the two times five. And the E, 27 and 36, I have the highest common factor is three to the two. And the lowest common multiple is equal to 108. I will write it in the decomposed form later. F, its highest common factor is three times 11. And the lowest common multiple is two times three times 11. We are going to continue. And the number that we are going to do is number 15. In number 15, they want the highest common factor of AB and the lowest common multiple of AB. Can anyone help me here, please? Can you give me the answer for the highest common factor? Yes, Lynn? Young lady? Uh, the highest common factor is two to the power of two times three to the power of four times five. Thank you. And do I say the lowest? Yes, definitely, yes. The lowest common factor, a common multiple is two to the power of three times three to the power of six times five to the power of two. Thank you. Excellent. And the last number. Can I ask a question? Yes, a question. Yes. Um, isn't the LCM supposed to be like all the numbers um, multiplied, even the not common ones? That's right. Yeah, Tavnis, why in the, I don't know if I saw it wrong, but I saw and no, it wasn't added all and you know, multiplied together. The, for example, in, um, in uh, C, for the LCM, oh, uh, no, 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 in the B. The previous one, you're talking about number nine? Which one yeah, are you talking yeah. about? Which number? Uh, Which number? No, which not which and B. Okay, in number B, if you look at number a, nine B. Okay, number nine. Okay, B. Okay. Yeah, number nine B. Yes. That's right. Okay. You have two in both, so you write it. You have three only. You write it. You have five and you have seven. So I wrote everything for the LCM, and I took the highest exponent. Yeah, miss, but don't you want to take the two as well? The one in the 42? No, you cannot miss because it's common. You only take one, two, and you take its highest exponent. Oh, okay. So when it's common, you take one of them and you take the highest one. Okay? Okay, thank you.
You're welcome. Any other questions? Okay, the last number, which is 17. So 75 is written as three times five to the two. Uh, if somebody wrote a ch uh, at something for in the chat, just one second, please. I need to finish writing and I will answer your questions. So 24 is written as two to the three times three. Part C, 12 equals to two to the two times three. And D is 30 equals two times three times five. Now I've finished with the homework. I'm going to go to the chat. If you don't want to voice your question, I will be waiting for your question. Uh, in the chat so that I finish it and move to some finish the explaining any questions for the homework and go to uh, explain something new. Uh, miss. Yes. Yes. Head. Uh, when are when when are you going to when are you going to grade our work? I will soon grade it, Miss. I will tell you when. Now, those that didn't understand the lowest common multiple, you just have to know that you only take the numbers that are found in both in A and in B, even if they are not common, and you choose the highest exponent for these numbers. So here I have two and two. I choose the two, although this is the two here is um, common, I choose one, two, and I choose its highest exponent, which is three. Now, if I had four B here times seven, I would choose seven, okay? Even though if it's not common, but this is not the case here, okay? This is why I'm erasing it. Yes, for the highest common factor, we only put the common numbers with the least exponents. Anything else? Or I move to, uh, to explain a small topic or a small uh, concept. Very nice one, which is easy. And this is going to be your homework for, uh, when am I going to see you? For Wednesday, which is 7 October. So my next topic for you is this one. We have 2.5 times 7.55 and it's equal to 18.875. This is the given, okay? It's given, it's given for you. Now they are going to give you like this, which is in the homework. They are going to give you the same numbers. Look at it, it's the same numbers, but they have changed the position of the decimal. And they sometimes are going to give you multiplication and they are going to give you division. I am going to explain the rules in order for you to know how to give the answer. This question here doesn't have a calculator next to it. Therefore, you cannot use a calculator. Now you're going to tell me all these decimals with divisions and multiplications and we're not going to use the uh, calculator. Yes. Okay. I will teach you now the trick. First, as you can see here, when you move the decimal in the first one or in the second number, you have multiplication and you move the decimal part or the decimal point to the right. This is the right, this way, okay? So here it was 2.5, now the, the decimal is here. We've moved it one place to the right. It means you move the decimal of the answer, the same thing, one place to the right. Now, we 
did not move the decimal for the first one, we moved it to, for the second one. And also we moved it one place. And it's also multiplication, therefore you move the, the, the decimal for the answer one place. Now I have moved here the decimal one place to the right and the, the second number also I've moved it one place to the right. Therefore, I've, I've moved it twice. So in the answer, you move it one, two, also twice. Summary. Whenever you have multiplication and you're moving the decimal in the first or the second number you're multiplying, you're moving the decimal to the right, you do the same thing for the answer. Now we go to division and then I will sum up again. Okay, don't panic if you don't understand, it's okay. I will review it with you again. For the division, if I'm moving the decimal in the first number, okay, first number, the number that I'm, it's the big one that I'm dividing with. I am moved it one place to the right or more, okay? You move it in the answer one place or more, also to the right. So if you're working with the first number, whatever you're doing or when you're moving it, the decimal to the right, you move in the answer, the decimal to the right. Okay? Now, if you kept the first one and now you've changed the decimal in the number you're dividing it with, so you have increased, when you move the decimal to the right here, you are dividing now with a big number. Here you were dividing with 2.5, it's a small number. Here you are now dividing with a big number. Therefore, you move the decimal, okay? One place to the left because it's going to become smaller. Example, if I'm dividing three by uh, with two, you will have a number which is one point something. Whereas if you're dividing three with 20, okay, 20 is more than two and it's greater than three. Therefore, you're going to be, the ha you're going to have the answer 0 0.1 something. Continue concentrating, I still have three more and then I will sum up, don't worry. If we are moving the decimal for both, here for both, okay? When you're moving the decimal for both, you will do the same thing, which means I started with 18, 0.875, I move the decimal one place, divided by 2.5, I move the decimal one place. So actually I've, I've done the same thing for both numbers. The value does not change because I moved it one place here and one place in the point that I'm dividing with in the one before the, the last one, may or more or less before I summarize, I'm working with, or I'm moving the decimal two places in here and only one place in here. So I started with 18.875. I moved it and two places. I moved the decimal two places and it became 1,887.5. And I moved the decimal here one place. So actually I have here moved it two zeros and here I moved it one zero. I know that when I move it in both, they cancel. So I only have one zero left. So you move the decimal 
one place to the right. Okay. I still have five minutes before the session ends. I would like you guys just to remember that these are rules. I have wrote them for you and I have given you this number as homework. Don't panic. If you think that this is hard, just go over what I have just explained, okay? And these are the summaries for all the cases. Just look at them, okay? Try to use them to help you do the homework. And I will see you hopefully tomorrow and I'm going to correct the homework and repeat this again. But please, if you are, try to do your homework, even if you don't understand it, just go over it or go over the explanation and I will re-explain tomorrow and I want to see everybody uploading their homework. Okay? Miss, I can't see the homework. Habibi, I have posted the homework on Google Classroom. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you very much, guys, for your attendance. And the Thank person that's lessons. trying to get in and is not in the class, please tell him to stop these things because I don't have time to waste. My math time is very valuable and you are very valuable to me. So I need to make sure that uh, you understand everything. Thank you so much, guys, and I will see you hopefully tomorrow. Take care of yourselves and have a nice afternoon. Yeah, thank, thank you, you Miss. Yeah. Bye, Bye, thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Miss. Bye.